Good evening, YouTube. It's been a while. I, uh, it's been a long week. Really long week, let me tell you. Um, got some good news. The, uh, the Les Schwab local brake and tire place is going to pick up the bill, a $4,000 bill, uh, for not putting a seal on the axle of my van and uh, my van, the differential completely blew up and they're stepping up. So good news is uh, that's not going to cost me that money, but the bad news, it looks like because of parts shortage, it's going to be anywhere from six to seven more, more weeks. It's been seven days now. It's been a rough week, rough week at work. Glad it's over. Uh, looks like tomorrow's going to be a fun day. My boss uh, is going to come over and we're going to go yard sailing tomorrow together, which we haven't done in years, years and years. So this video is interesting. I made my first purchase off of uh, Facebook Marketplace. So I've been on Facebook Marketplace for about a month now. I'm crushing it. Uh, it's 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 unbelievable. For a couple years, people have been telling me you've got to be on Facebook Marketplace. You got to like whatever, and it, boy, they were they were right. It's hard to keep up with it. But I made my first purchase, and uh, it's weird. I never even spoke to the person, and we never never exchanged uh, any you know, conversations or anything like I'm used to, like on eBay or otherwise, uh, and, but I think this is it. And of course, for my first purchase, it's a product that has every possibility uh, of something going wrong. So let's open it up together. And let's see, let's take a picture here. There we go. Uh, where'd this come from? Oh, St. Helens, Oregon. See, that's what's weird is I, I, didn't, I don't even know how far the item is coming from. It could be coming, but that's just up the road. I could have drove and picked this up. So either way, it was $12 to ship. Let's see. I'm pretty happy with the way it's packaged. Okay, nice. Oh, you did a really nice job. Look at that. It's all blocked out on the sides. Let's take a look. Wow, that did a really nice job. So these are susceptible Of a lot of chipping, uh, missing parts. Let's see how they did. Okay, got a nice lid here. Looks good, and the, the tabs are not broken off. No chips. Nice lid. All right, I'm liking what I'm seeing here. The coffee strainer is attached. No chips on the on the bowl. Very well packed. Very well packed. Even down underneath, nothing rattling. And then the infamous stem. No chips on the stem. It's all there. There we go. Uh-huh. And there you have it got a few interesting little marks on it. Is this a Pyrex? Yeah, Pyrex. There's the model number on it. No model. That's strange. But it's definitely Pyrex. The handle and everything's marked on it. Yep. Everything. 7756. Okay, well there it is. My first Facebook purchase and it's a success. I'm going to make sure that that person 
gets uh, the feedback they deserve. And uh, I wish you guys would do the same for people that do a great job on packaging because let me tell you what, <laughs> uh, I'm on some forums and, and I see what people use for packing material and uh, it's, it's terrible. It's very lazy and very disrespectful to, to ship something uh, terrible like that. So anyway, thanks for checking it out and doing my unboxing of my first Facebook purchase. And I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I'm sure I'll be back tomorrow, hopefully with some scores videos or something else. But have a good evening. Happy Friday night.